Hello students, once again welcome to Bhola Nath Academy. Today students we are going to see one more type of concept that is called as nucleophilicity. What is the nucleophilicity students in examination they are asking. So you have to write like this. Nucleophilicity may be defined as ability to donate electron pair to an atom other than hydrogen most often to carbon. Mostly we are donating the electron to the carbon. So that is called as what? Nucleophilicity. Ability to donate electron pair students. Here we are talking about what? Pair. We are donating electron pair to an atom other than hydrogen. Mostly we are donating to carbon. Nucleophilicity and basicity. That is ability of electron pair with hydrogen. Nucleophilicity and basicity. That is ability of electron pair with hydrogen need not be parallel. That is to say that a good base is not necessary to a good nucleophiles. Understanding students? Nucleophilicity and basicity. So you can say that a good base is not necessarily a good nucleophile. Understanding students? The order of nucleophilicity is like this. Here students, ethoxide is more nucleophilicity characters. The order of the nucleophilicity is like this. Ethoxide, this is benzo oxide, this is what? Acetyl and this is what? Nitrate. The strength of the nucleophile depends on the factors such as its basicity, polarizability, solvation, in a solvent and steric hindrance. If you want to see the strength of the nucleophile strength, it will also depend upon basicity, polarizability, solvation, and solvent and steric hindrance. And the factor of electrophilicity reagent is the size of the attacking atom in it. Understanding these are the factors which affect the nucleophilicity. Nucleophilicity increases with size of attacking atom, that is, increase the atomic number. Now, here, students, here iodine is size, when you see the iodine size is what bigger. So, nucleophilicity increases with size of the attack, attacking atom. Understanding to so iodine, bromine, and here it is what chloride. So iodide, chloride, bromide, and chloride. So iodide will have what more nucleophilic character than the chlorine. Nucleophilicity and basicity. What is difference, students? Now here I have given the structure, students. So this propanoic acid, students. What happens, students? Because it is pro acid. Now when react, now here OH minus hydroxyl with students, it will combine with the hydrogen and form water. Understanding, students. So it is acts like a base. Understanding. So nucleophilicity here you can see it is displacing the position of iodine and it is forming what methanol understanding so here OH minus will act as a nucleophile here it is act like a base so understanding students so this way you can explain the nucleophilicity and basicity both nucleophilicity and basicity have do with the tendency to share an electron pair to form a covalent bond comparison of nucleophilicity with basicity is as follows it is given as below now students when you want to compare nucleophilicity and basicity so first comparison students it involves interaction with carbon its ability of nucleophile to form bond to the carbon atom only now when you comes to the basicity students it involves interaction with protons that is it is affinity of base to form a protons understanding it will mostly react with the hydrogen atom it is kinetic property its measure a rate of reaction it is a thermodynamic property it is a measure of value of equilibrium constant so these are the difference between nucleophilicity and basicity. These are very important students. Now we are going to see one more concept students that is ambient nucleophilicity. What is ambient students? Some species do not have their nucleophilicity localized on one atom but have two sites at which they may react. These are called as ambient nucleophiles students. Understanding? Example is enolate ion. Enolate ion which normally react at the carbon atom but can sometimes react with on oxygen. So understanding both carbon and oxygen are here the present nucleophiles are present now compound of the type students when you see these compound students when you are taking two moles of base it will form uh, two anions nucleophiles will be present here if treated with the strong enough base give dicarbon anions so here students you have two carbon anions such ions are called as what ambient nucleophiles understanding students so these are the complete information about the nucleophile students these are very important. Please like my video and share it. Subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you very much.